There's many genres that are all about bass and drums, and many of those genres often don't even use chords, but chords are essential in creating musical depth. So in this video, you'll learn a game-changing bass hack that solves this problem. But first, Terry. Revolutionary music makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. This channel helps you make great music that stands out so you can enchant and enlarge your audience. Alright, it's time to open your door to Hack Music Theory. The Theory. The Chemical Brothers just dropped their new single, M.A.H. Mad as hell! And as the Mancunian duo are electronic OGs and big deep pioneers, M.A.H. unsurprisingly features a classic electronic bass hack. The Chemical Brothers are fully aware of the importance of harmony, and as a result, they don't just abandon chords like many other producers, instead they cleverly disguise the harmony in their bass line. How? Well, after choosing a chord that conveyed their desired emotion, they then outlined that chord using their bass. And as the vocal hook is, I'm mad as hell, I ain't gonna take it no more, their choice of a diminished triad could not be more appropriate, mm -hmm. as its extreme dissonance perfectly conveys the mad as hell lyrics. The hack. All right, now you're gonna learn how to use this theory to make your own version. And what you see on the screen right now is our version that we made earlier. So start by setting up one bar of 4-4 four, four, with your grid set to 16 notes and your tempo set to 130 BPM. In their bass line, the Chemical Brothers use the C diminished chord, so we'll use it too. Step one, chord. Now, ask yourself what emotion you want to convey with your bass line. If you're going for posy vibes and smiley faces, then use the C major chord, which is C, E, and G. If you're after a more serious mood though, then use the C minor chord, which is C, E flat, and G. And finally, if you're mad as hell, then use the C diminished chord, which is C, E flat, and G flat. And by the way, if you need help understanding the different types of chords and scales, or if you just want to brush up on your theory knowledge, download our free book at hackmusictheory.com. Step two, bass. Right, now that you've got your chord, it's time to turn it into a bass line. So start by playing the root note, C, to establish your home, then drop down and play through an arpeggio, starting on beat two E and using 16th notes. And by the way, an arpeggio is when you play a chord one note at a time. So for C diminished, we play C, then E flat, then G flat. Next, throw in a couple 16th notes from your chord on beat 3 E and beat 3 R, which creates a super dancey syncopation. <laughs> and syncopation is just when you accent an offbeat. Finally, we're going to wrap up with three sixteenth notes, all from your chord, starting on beat four E. And on that note, well, offbeat note, remember to use some octaves of your three notes as well, which will extend the range of your bass line. For example, like we did here with this high G flat. Also, this bass line is playing over a pumping four on the floor drum beat, and we don't want to get in the way of those kicks now, do we? <laughs> so, be sure to avoid playing any bass notes on beat two, beat three, and beat four. This allows maximum space to show off your massive kick drum sample. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, now let's have a listen to our bass line that's actually a chord. And if you want to keep learning how to make great music that stands out, then you'll definitely need to know how to improve your bass lines using non-diatonic notes, polymeters, and more. So we've got a video on that coming next. Just click it when it pops up in a few seconds, and we'll meet you there. 